The farm to table movement is alive and well in Asheville. This month, ASAP is renewing its Get Local campaign. Joining us right now this morning, Molly Nikolai of ASAP and Stephen Goff of King James Public House. Thank you both for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. So tell Thank us you. about the campaign. Well, Get Local is a way for uh, ASAP to really feature chefs and restaurants that are purchasing local, not just uh, when it's convenient, but really making a commitment to do that on a regular basis. And we're talking about meats today. There are a lot of meat producers in the area. There are, yeah. Uh, we use uh, Brasstown beef, Hickory Nut Gap for beef and pork, uh, apple brandy. There, there's a pretty large amount. And it's important to know where your meat, your beef comes from, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and to know that it's being raised sustainably and, you know, in a safe fashion. Yeah, absolutely. And you've brought your lunch special for the month here. Describe, tell us what all this is. <laughs> so we got, this month we, we did a beef tongue Reuben with Hickory Nut Gap Farms beef tongues. Mm -hmm. uh, I went ahead and got that And ready. you were talking about the preparation. Tell us, tell us about what goes into preparing beef tongue. Um, well, preparing, corning anything, normally you corn brisket. Uh, you know, that, that's your, your corned beef is always a brisket. Um, but tongue is actually one of the m most flavorful cuts in an animal. Um, so, I let, and, and some I let, people are kind of grossed out by it, right? <laughs> some people are. Yeah, that. because we're talking about the, it's the tongue. People, if they're not hearing correctly, you know. Well, we're all, talking about the okay. tongue. And that's, and that's the strongest muscle, right? So, yep. does it, it take, that's why it takes a little bit longer, right, to prepare? Right, the, the more a muscle works, the better it tastes and the longer it takes to prepare. Wow. So, um, uh, also, besides just going local, oh, <laughs> fire, wanna, fire. Yeah. <laughs> but we, didn't have a, we didn't have a salamander here, so besides just going local, you want to use made my morning every bit of the product, you know. Yeah, I mean, all those, all the cows that are getting slaughtered, slaughtered. for use, mm -hmm. where are their tongues going in the trash, otherwise, you know, and. That just doesn't make any sense. That's not a sustainable way of cooking or living. Okay. So. Wow. That looks beautiful. It really though. does. It, it looks like a Reuben, doesn't it? It does. It, it is a Reuben. It is a Reuben. What do you compare the taste to? What would you compare it to? I mean, I could feed this to you and you would believe it was brisket. So, uh, okay. I, I don't know. All right, let's cut up it's a, a little more here. tender. Gonna, I think Jay's going to taste this one. <laughs> this I want to Yeah, you see. told me you had to talk while I was eating. Yeah, so. Jay. Oh, that's there a big bite there. Let me, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can do this. I, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it smells very good, though. I mean, it smells like a Reuben, <laughs> like you said. You'd never know the difference. I'm telling you. Uh, it's really good. It's pretty good. good. You it's really I, good. I've got to give you credit. Seven. Oh, that sauce is great, too, you got on there. <laughs> that is awesome. And so you can get this right now at your restaurant, right? At the King James Public House at 94 Charlotte Street. Uh, we, we've been featuring it all month, you know, because it's meat month for ASAP and Get Local. Great. That's fantastic taste. Let Jay finish really his good. sandwich. Well, that's going to be hard to do. I'm making <laughs> a mess sorry. here. Just dripping everywhere. <laughs> and if you're not quite up for tongue, there are a lot of fabulous sure. restaurants featuring local meats and also seasonal products throughout the year as part of the Get Local campaign. And you can find those in ASAP's local food guide in town and All also right. on our website. We'll see you again Great. in the next hour. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. The farm to table movement is alive and well in Asheville. This month, ASAP is renewing its Get Local campaign. Joining us is Molly Nikolai of ASAP and Stephen Goff of King James Public House. So tell us about the Get Local campaign. Well, Get Local is really a way to feature area chefs in the region that are going above and beyond and really purchasing from local farms on a regular basis. You know, it's, it's nice to see chefs shopping at the farmer's market on a weekly basis and really helping support those farms thrive in, in the region. And chef, a lot of people may not realize it, but there are a lot of local meat producers, right? Yeah, we we have uh, Brass Town Beef, uh, Dry Ridge Farms is a pork producer I use, Hickory Nut Gap, uh, Apple Brandy. Uh, the list could go on. <laughs> go on and on. All right. So what are you making right now? Uh, we're making a Hickory Nut Gap Beef Tongue Reuben. Okay. So not only do we serve local, we try to be more sustainable by using every bit of the animal. You know, I mean. Well, where, that's part of sustainability. That's true. Right. You don't exactly. want to be wasteful. And right. how long does it take to prepare this? Well, the beef tongue, I actually, I corn it, which is like brining it in a super strong liquid for about five to seven days, generally seven wow. days. And talk a little bit about why it takes so long. I mean, your, the tongue is the strongest muscle, as we were talking about right. earlier. Right. The more a muscle is worked, 
the longer it needs to be cooked, but also the more flavor it's going to have in it. So we got our hickory nut gap beef tongue, corned beef tongue right here, a little bit of kimchi. Um, we do uh, our own Russian dressing, which is like pickled vegetables and nice. brava sauce. And you serve this. This is your special all month long. Right. right? For meat month. It's meat month because okay. it's the middle of winter and we don't have very <laughs> many vegetables coming from the market. <laughs> right. Um, but you're putting a twist on it. Very interesting. Char it up a little bit with some Swiss. So Get Local is really all about seasonality and really eating what's in season. So of course in the winter months we have things like meats and cheeses and eggs that we can really support uh, area farms by purchasing. But and then when we get into the into the heat of the season in the summer, we can do things more like, you know, tomatoes and right. peppers. And Molly, aren't we all healthier if we know where our food comes from? Well, I think having that relationship and knowing uh, the story behind your food is really consumers, uh, important to consumers in the region and, and wanting to know where their food com coming from with the farmer or the chef that's, that's really bringing that food to the table. Part He's being so kind. Together. Look, look at him. <laughs> <Look, laughs> He's getting me napkin. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I have never there tried beef tongue before, so this will be well, hang on, delicious. Hang on. You need to oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Might need a bib. Oh, it's juicy. It's great. It is good, we isn't were, it? You were comparing it to what? Corned beef? I, I, and I don't want to offend the chef, but I thought it had almost a corn, corned beef kind of taste mm. to it earlier. Yeah, yeah. It, that, that's what we corn it just like. Okay. Normally, brisket is corned, but we use it's tongue good. to be more sustainable, and it's actually a softer, more flavorful cut. Very flavorful. You can see just, and you said this is, what else did you put? That's kimchi, kimchi. that I made okay. with, with collard stems, which is also it's being great. sustainable. Thank you both for being here. A lot of fun. We'll be right back.